We're going to talk about getting your pitch velocity on your baseball videos. Um, it takes your baseball video to the next level. Uh, it's really nice to be able to see how fast the kids are pitching. And then also adding a scoreboard, which makes creating highlight videos extremely easy. You can use the Game Changer play-by-play -play to figure out where the base hit is, or the double, or the triple, and then, uh, and then with, if you've got the scoreboard overlaid, then you can just easily toggle to where that is on your recordings, and then cut it and make a fantastic video. Super fast. It used to take me about an hour and a half to do each game for a highlight video, and now I can do a highlight video in about five to ten minutes. So these are some cool, cool things. Let me talk, what do I mean by uh, the pitch velocity? Let me show you uh, one of my recordings here. So this is a game here in the top right hand corner. We've got the uh, velocity and then I got a scoreboard as well. So, um, uh, oh, this one's got multiple camera angles as well. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but here we'll see, we'll get a pitch velocity from this, this pitcher. Good pitch, 68 miles an hour, great pitch. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about with uh, the pitch velocity. Um, in, in your recordings, okay? So how do I do it? Well, first off, you gotta have a GoPro, and most everybody has a GoPro that's already recording videos, but you've gotta have an HDMI out on your GoPro. GoPro 5, 6, and 7 have HDMI out. GoPro 8 and 9 do not. So you'll have to get a media mod with your GoPro 8 and 9. The GoPro 8 and 9 media mod does, does not dissipate heat very well, so take your battery out so it doesn't overheat and then use an external battery pack with your, your HDMI out to do that. So you got an HDMI out cable, and that's gonna come here to a camera capture card. This is a CamLink, Elgato CamLink video capture card. On one end is the HDMI, on the other end is USB. And so that will then allow you to plug into your computer um, to, to get your recording. So like I said, you gotta have those things. And then, like I said, you also have to have a laptop. Okay, so that's super important to be able to, to make your recordings. Um, and how do I mount this? So I, I, this is my rig, I've got a Link Spider. Okay, this thing is bulletproof, all right? Um, I have had multiple mounts. I have the backstop mount, okay? I've used the fence clip um, and the Link Spider. This is my go-to thing. This thing is just absolutely bulletproof. I've had this for years. I've recorded about 400 plus games, maybe I think 450 games, and this thing is just, just bulletproof. So what I've got is the camera goes right here, and then my, my pocket radar goes right here, and there's a, a rig. This is a small rig, it's what it's called. You can buy this device with, uh, with your Link Spider, and that will allow you to mount uh, with the ready cam mount, I think is what it's called. Yeah, the ready cam um, mount to, for, to put on your, your pocket radar. This is my pocket radar. Um, it's the, you have to get the smart coach for this one to work, so it's a $400 device. So uh, and this is my USB cable that goes to my battery that powers this thing. This battery pack, nothing fancy. This thing will power the pocket radar for like, I think two or three baseball seasons. Um, I never charge this thing up. This smart, this pocket radar uses almost no power. It's pretty impressive. All right, so that's the setup there. So HDMI out on the camera, right? And that goes into my computer. And now once you've got it into your computer, you have to have a software package to, to bring it all in. And that's the software package I'm using is called OBS. Free software package, awesome, it's free. Um, and it's super easy to use. So this is where you add your camera, right? So you'll click on this plus sign here and click on the video capture device. I won't go through that, it's pretty straightforward. And that will add your, your, your CamLink GoPro down here. That's or the CamLink, uh, that's the, the, I called it the CamLink GoPro, but it'll add your CamLink there. And then you can add other sources. So I've got a, um, my scoreboard source, which is actually a browser, right? So if I click on the properties, this is the website of the scoreboard, okay? <coughs> So if we go over to that, this is the browser, right? This is where you can control the score and I can do this on my phone, I can do this on, um, or on the, the computer and change the score and that will be reflected right here. And this is actually the URL that I've got that is being shown here in OBS, right? So that's where I, I would click a browser source um, and add that URL there. So I would create, click on this plus sign and, I'll, and then click on the plus sign, then click on the browser, and then type in that URL, which will then overlay that here. And I can, I can resize this, right? Do all these fancy things with that, okay? Um, now to get the radar, my, 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 I've been charging up my tablet, but I got a tablet here. Um, as you can see, this is, this is the tablet that has the radar, 
Okay, and so I will go ahead and um, plug that into my computer and that, uh, once I've got that plugged in, um, then I have an app that I use. Um, it's also free called SCRCPY. I click and run that and it will, oh, okay, I gotta allow that. Um, let's try it again. Uh, that'll run and away we go. Um, on my tab, what just happened there is on my tablet, I have to give, I had, I had to give permission to SCRPY to um, be able to access my tablet. So now I've got this radar down here and I can move that around, I can resize it, uh, make it smaller, make it larger, I can crop it. So I can, can crop this, all right? Uh, that's what I've done here to make it kind of look nice and neat, all right? So that's how you do this. Um, now, what it looks like with the camera, let me go ahead and turn this thing on. Um, so, oh, deactivate and activate, okay. Um, uh, so here I've got my, my camera that I'm holding. This is another one of my GoPros. Um, anyway, so that's, that's, the, that's kind of what it looks like overlaid, okay. Um, so there are multiple ways of uh, getting your scoreboard on. You can do the browser base. That's the Flexi, uh, the, the f uh, Live Flexi, or Flexi Live is what it's called. Let me see. It's called FlexiScore.net, right? And I'll link to that. FlexiScore.net, uh, and that will, um, that's, that's a nice, simple scoreboard. Or you can use Game Changer, right? Uh, you can use the, if you're using the old Game Changer, uh, non-team manager, the old Game Changer app, you can just go online to the website of Game Changer where the, the game is being broadcast and, it, and you can just copy and paste that browser to put it in OBS. If you're using the new Game Changer, then what you can do is go into settings of OBS here and click on stream and then choose the custom service and then type the URL that is given to you from the Game Changer app for the external camera. You choose external camera instead of internal camera and that'll give you a, a, a URL and you can plug that in there and then start streaming. Uh, I, don't, I don't do it that way, but you can. And the nice thing about doing that is then this thing will be gone, right? And, and, and your, your scoreboard from Game Changer will be right here. So you'll probably wanna move your, your radar gun out of the way, right? Cause it'll be in the way of your scoreboard. Um, but then that will actually broadcast via Game Changer so people can watch it during the, via the app and then it'll actually have the radar here and then the scoreboard, okay? So that's how that is, that is done. Um, it's pretty slick, pretty straightforward. Um, Device-wise, how much is it gonna cost you? Well, most everybody already has the, the GoPro HDMI cable, okay? And then you need the, the cam link, right? So that's gonna cost you about $100 to get that device. And then the pocket radar smart coach. Smart coach. If you have one, you have one. If you don't have one, it's $400. Um, so that's, that's gonna be your out of pocket for this. Uh, so you're looking at $500 essentially to get the, the ball rolling with some really good, uh, good to improve your recordings. Uh, if you don't already, if you don't record now, then yeah, you got to get the, the the cameras, you've got to get the mounts and those things, and, and that can add up. Um, but uh, I think it's totally worth it. It's a lot of fun. I've got a lot of recordings and make a lot of highlight videos, so people really like that. Um, and, and then for the multi-camera setup, well, then you have to have you have to use a switcher and an ATEM. The A10 Mini switcher is a fantastic switcher uh, that will allow you to have multiple different camera angles. Um, if you use a, a larger version of the A10 Mini, like the A10 Mini Pro or the A10 Mini Extreme, then you can even take it a, a step even further. And I'm actually using the A10 Mini Extreme switcher, um, and that allows me to have a really fantastic scoreboard with uh, multiple camera angles, and it's a lot of fun. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions or concerns, and I can kind of help answer them for you, all right? Have a wonderful day.